Well, good evening, everybody. This is Minister Gloria Harlow Drummond. I want to welcome you all to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. Today's date is December the 19th of 2020. The time now is about 20 minutes to 11 p.m. And I hadn't done a video now for about a week. So I decided to, get, to come on tonight and read a couple of devotionals to, to y'all. So, all right, first of all, I want to do the Lord's Prayer, all right? <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, amen. They all said, amen. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to read uh, Thursdays for December the 17th. I'm going to read it first. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've got a runny nose and a sore throat, so bear with me. And no, it's not the COVID. It's not the COVID. And yes, I have my bedtime attire on again tonight, so bear with me, you guys. Well, after all, it is my video, right? Okay. God's delight. God delights <clears throat> in repentance. Those whom I love... I reprove and discipline. So be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. And that's in Revelation. That's in re uh, reference to Revelation chapter 3, verses 19 and 20. You can read these. You can read these. Revelation chapter 3, verses 19 and 20. Okay. The Laodicean church is famous for being lukewarm. Neither on fire for God or totally cold. But what follows its rebuke is today's verse. God's promise that those who those he loves, he disciplines. Yes, he does. He provides opportunity for repentance so that fellowship with him can be restored. We all need fellowship with the Lord. We all do. Amos contains the same promise. Israel had committed mighty sins. She afflicted the just, took bribes, and sent the needy away. Amos chapter 5, verse 12. Tired of her empty religious festivals, God wanted to see justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Amos chapter 5, verse 24. But despite her sins and the discipline he'd already sent, God would heal Israel if she turned back to him. It's the same with us. We cannot go so far away from God that he will not hear our cry for forgiveness, our sincere return to him and his ways. God keeps seeking us, knocking at the door of our heart, hearts. And if we respond to his call, he will fellowship with us anew. He will fellowship with us anew. Okay. Jesus, <clears throat> are you knocking on my heart today? What doors have I kept shut from you? What doors have I kept shut from you? Encourage me to open them and turn back to you. And turn back to you. It's a good one. Okay. For Friday, December the 18th. Suffering in earth and heaven. The Lord God of hosts, he who touches the earth and it melts, and all of its all of it rises like the Nile and sinks again, who builds his upper chambers in the heavens and founds his vault upon the earth, who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out. The Lord is his name, and that is a reference to Amos chapter nine. Verses 5 and 6. Amid Amos's message, he includes a description of God's power over the earth. His setting its foundations, the earth rolling at his touch, and the seas obeying all of his commands. The seas obeying all of his commands. 
Turning to Revelation 4 and 5, we get the awe-inspiring picture of the throne room of God in heaven. John saw not only the majesty of the throne encompassed by a rainbow and the sea of glass before it, but also the four living creatures and the elders worshiping the one on the throne. He who is holy above all. He is who, who, who is holy above all. <clears throat> heaven and earth testify to God's glory and God is sovereign over them both. His gracious rule extends over you and your life as well. Where do you need to see God's awesome power, His grace today? Where do you need to see His awesome power and His grace today? His hand is there, working where you cannot see. His love is already with you to hold you up. Praise God for His matchless grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, Father, Holy Spirit. I long to grow in greater awe of your power and love. Your holiness and glory are incomparable. Thank you for your word that paints pictures of them for me. Amen. Amen. All right, now then, today's. We read today's. <clears throat> December the 19th. December the 19th. Okay. His grace, his great mercy. The Lord said, you have had pity on the plant for which you have not labored, nor made it grow, which came up in the night and perished in a night. And should I not pity Nineveh, that great city in which are more than 120,000 persons who cannot discern between their right hand and their left? And that's Jonah chapter 4 verses 10 and 11. We all know the story of Jonah of Jonah and the whale. It's hard to watch enemies succeed, but even harder to desire their good to show mercy. God's mercy is on display in the book of Jonah. When God sent the prophet after a fishy delay, after a fishy delay, to preach to the famously cruel Assyrians in their capital city of Nineveh. Jonah actually complained about God's mercy toward them when they repented. Jonah chapter 4 verse 2. The prophet would have rather had, rather had Israel's longtime oppressors wiped off the map. But teaching Jonah through the withered vine, God explained that his mercy extended to the, Nine the Ninevites because of his great love for his whole creation. One day we'll meet Ninevites Nin Ninevite believers in heaven. One, one day we will meet Ninevite believers in heaven. They may be before the throne now saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. And that's Revelation 5.13. 5.13. May you not be as reluctant, reluctant as Jonah in sharing God's mercy with others. Instead, being eager to share his free grace with everyone, including your enemies, including your enemies. Lord, I am only your child by grace. Soften my heart toward those to whom I struggle to show your mercy. That is so very, very true. I'm going I'm to read this part again. Lord, I am only your child by grace. Soften my heart toward those to whom I struggle to to show mercy. That is a good one. That is a good one. But I wanted to get on here tonight and do something. Because I hadn't been on here for a week. So I wanted to get on here and I felt like the Holy Spirit wanted me to read out of my, my book. It's called Daily Wisdom for Women. I've read it I've read it before. I need to get the, 20, the 2021 devotional. I need to get it. So that's what I wanted to do tonight. I wanted to get on here and read. Read out of my devotional. <clears throat> and then tomorrow's will be needed rest. Needed rest. That's tomorrow's. And I will come on here and do that one tomorrow. And like I said before, you know, if, uh, if you need any prayer, if you need me to pray for you, you can leave your prayer request under the video under any of my videos, and I will, I will pray for you. I will pray. You know, 
we all we all have gone through some things we all we all have and some of us are still going through some things you know and it's just it's so easy to get down i mean really down i've been there i've been there i've been there you know just 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 so many religions and so many people have so many things wrong. That's why that we need God's word. Go by what God's word says. Don't listen to people. Go by what God's word says. And yes, he does send his messengers. He sends message th messages through his messengers. His ministers. He sends warnings. And you know, warnings come before destruction. And that is so true. Everything that's going on now, I don't have to paint a picture. You know everything that's going on now between the election, between the V, the V. It's all a plan. It's all a plot. The pandemic. Pandemic. It ain't going to be good. It's not good. It's not good. I mean, if we love the Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, let him lead us and guide us. You know, if we, when we get anxious, when we get to the place where we don't know where to turn, don't know what to do about a situation. Put it in God's hands. See, I tell myself this. You all don't know. You all don't know what this minister of God goes through. You don't know. But what did I do? I didn't disobey. I got on here tonight. I got on here. They've taken... Periscope is is gone. It's going to be gone. I can't even get in back into my to my periscope to even get my my scopes. And I've got a lot of them on there. I've got a lot of them on there for this. I've been on there five years. I'm um, I'm on Haps TV. I'm on there. I've got my profile and everything on there, but. There's a little snag that I hit that I have to work through that before I can get on there to do broadcast. I still have my Twitch preaching for Jesus, and they only stay on there 10 days. I can still do Facebook Live. I can still do that. I can I can do Instagram Live, you know. But yes, I miss the, I miss the Periscope. I miss per, Periscope, too. You know, and pretty soon... Anybody that talks about Jesus, anybody that says anything about Jesus, they're going to take them down. They'll, they'll take them down. And someday we won't have any internet. We will, there will be no internet. When it all shuts down, we'll have to do like they did back, way back, and have church in, in our house, house churches, house fellowship. And that's what it's coming to. That's what it's coming to. You know, and we have to get toughened up. And, and like I say, when I tell this to you, go, you all, I'm telling it to myself as well. I don't want to believe all this bad stuff. I don't want to believe it. But it's fact. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? That's going to take place in the, in the last days. We are there. Like it or not, we are there. We are there. And we have to get strong in, the, strong in our in our faith. Strong in God. When we want to curl up in a corner and cry, just talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. And like I said before, you know, just say Jesus' name. If you feel like you can't pray, just say Jesus. Jesus. There's something about that name 
Master, Savior, Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain. Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth Proclaim, kings and kingdoms shall all pass away, but there's something about that name. <clears throat> yes, there's something about that name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. You cannot beat those old songs. You cannot beat them. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if they're Protestant songs. I don't care. I am sick to death of hearing about... I'm tired of it. Like I said before, and I'm going to stand by what I have always said. Of what I know that God called me to do what God called me to be. And come heck or high water, I'm going to do it. And remember, like I've said this too, if they hated Jesus, they're going to hate us. If they persecuted Jesus, they're going to persecute us. And we may have to give our lives, be martyred, be murdered for our faith in Jesus. Because if we deny Jesus before people, he will deny us and say, depart from me. I never knew you. I never knew you. It's going to get rough. It's going to get rough. Is there a pre-trib rapture? Is there a mid-trib rapture? We have to endure it till the end. And like I said, in Matthew 24, it says, after the tribulation. In those days after the tribulation. We have to get in the word and read it and ask God for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and discernment. Is the soul of scriptura only? It's about God's word. It's God's word. And his word never returns void. His word never returns void. People are saying that that that. You don't need the Bible, not just Bible alone. I go by my Bible. I go by, I go by the Holy Word. Go by the Holy Word. So, I, like I said, I just wanted to get on here and, and read a little bit. And try to encourage anybody that's out there that gets, that is getting discouraged <clears throat> Lord knows I was today. I was today. Gloria was today. Yes, I was. Because the devil seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. And I know this. I know this. And the best thing a person can do, if you're in a situation, somehow get out of it. And let God lead you as to where to go. Where he wants you to be. Don't stay in a, in a, a narcissistic situation. Around unbelievers. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is a word. This is a word. From me, from, from the Lord, to me, to you all, to you all. And maybe some people might say, well, where would I go? Where would I go? Well, let the Lord, let the Lord, he will help you. He will help us. That's where it takes bold faith. Bold faith. Old faith. 
I love you guys. I love you all. I love you all so very much. Please keep me in your prayers. Please keep me and my family in your prayers as I pray for each and every one of you. As I pray for each and every one of you. And I'm going to get on here every day, if it's not but a few minutes, to tell you all that I love you and that Jesus loves you. He will never leave us. He will never leave us. So I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer, and I'm going to go ahead and end it. I've been on here now about 20, almost 20, 21 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Lord's Prayer. You'll have to excuse me tonight. I, I hadn't planned on getting on here, but I knew that I, I should. And the Holy Spirit unctioned me to get on here. And I do obey the Lord. When he says to move, I move. Don't want Father God mad. Don't want Father God angry. No. And I know that he's very grieved at everything that's going on. He's very grieved. He's very grieved. So let's do the let's do the Lord's Prayer. The disciples' prayer. Our Father, who art who art in heaven, or which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil or the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. And they all said, Amen. Kisses and hugs to each and every one of you. I'm here. I'm here. Like I said, you can leave messages under my videos. You know, and to those that scoff, laugh, make fun of us let them do it it's going to be on them it'll be on them people that say that a woman a woman can't preach let them talk let them talk let them talk so all right i'm going to go ahead and say good night may god richly richly bless you i hope that you all have a blessed week a blessed a blessed sunday a blessed sunday and again I love you, Jesus loves you, and we must put on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, put on the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the boots of peace, and the sword of the spirit to be able to come up against the wiles of the devil because he seeks to kill, steal, and to destroy. So remember, eyes to the sky, for we know not when our Lord will return, we know not the day or the hour. We must be ready. We must be ready. Keep our lamps filled and lit. So, all right. That's all, that's all for tonight. I love you. Good night.